Hi everyone, welcome back to Aidens Railways. Today I want to have a quick look at some Pullman carriages. You might remember in a previous video when I was reviewing the Hornby Tornado, uh, Tornado Pullman and the Mallard Express that they had the railroad Pullman coaches in and I said but you could easily modify them and change the names and things like that. I just happened to go to the model shop a few weeks back and stumbled across something for very little money. Um, it was just some ordinary railroad coaches but somebody had modified them and um, some are better than others but I hadn't seen this done I've I've seen something similar but I haven't seen this done and I thought it was very interesting for such a very cheap model so let's take a look at them yep so here we are we're back um let's have a quick look there was four coaches in total like I say some are better than others but they were so cheap I'll give you an idea of how cheap so cheap but um i thought they would go well with the other pullmans that we have but i'll open them up i'll make this a quick one today um but i just thought i would share it with you because i'd never tried anything like this and they're not perfect i think you get a lot better with some uh, proper transfers but let's take a look so they are just basic railroad hornby uh, pullman coaches um, I'll just pop this out. Now this one in particular has got the silver roof and we, we were discussing the uh, the differences before but when I turn it over on the top here we've got London, Brussels, Dover, Ostend so I'm assuming this would be the Orient Express um, but it's had a it, this is a stick-on transfer that's been put on here and it, it really doesn't look that bad at all it's got the new century bar now as i said in those videos with the hornby and the tornado train sets um one had more detail in the pullman crest color for instance and the others didn't these ones have got the color on them they aren't part of the transfers at all but this is and this is but this is where it gets interesting it's a standard hornby coach and when you turn it over some of the windows are missing. Uh, now, the shade isn't perfect, but when that's going round on the track, that looks pretty good. We've got the new century, uh, yeah, the new century bar, and it just it makes something a little bit different with those Pullman coaches. If I rub my, run my finger along, I can actually feel where the windows are, but I can't actually see them with the transfer. Now, if I bring it really close, then you might be able to see, you'll see the difference in the shade. But that, that bit there is rather bad. Now, I might take this off and replace it. But for the cost of the coach, that's nothing. But I do like this, 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 this whole making it slightly different um, for such a budget model. And it's not the only one. If I take out the next one, it really does show what you can do with basic coaches and how you can make them your own. On this one, I think this might have been the experiment that initially, whoever owned them first, but it's got the Time Tees Pullman on the top that's been fitted on and the Hadrian bar instead of whatever name or blank name would have been there. And on the other side, yet again, we've got the transfer on the top and with the Hadrian bar. Now I do, I have seen the company that does, does these and I can't remember, for the life of me, I can't remember the name, but I know that they were more popular with the N-Gage because you could convert an entire carriage, Mark II, Mark III, I thought you could change the entire livery just by sticking these, they are effectively stickers, but very good. It's like a vinyl wrap almost over the top of them and you know you can remove the cut the windows out and things like that and you've got a completely re-livery coach and I suspect in N-Gage it would look a lot better but so we've got the Hadrian bar there as well now this one whoever did them went one step further this time and like I say some 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 of the results are better than others but on this one, 
I am not even going to try and pronounce that name, but <laughs> you've got that bar and it's even got the gold narrow parts on, um, which is fantastic. That is a that is a full length and up to the top there that's been stuck on. Um, it's not as good because it hasn't gone down quite fully here. Now, I don't know whether to cut across and remove that completely um, or whether to try and salvage, salvage it in some way, but it's faded at one side as well. But still, even if I removed all of this stuff off all of these coaches, it's a very cheap price for four Pullmans. On the other side, it's just literally got the bottom section stuck on. Um, but it completely transforms that Pullman coach. Um, we'll move on to the fourth one. Because like I say, I want to try and keep this, this, this video a little bit short today because I don't want to focus on these too much. I can bring them into another video with, uh, with a locomotive and show them going around the track. But this one has it's had its name changed to Pegasus. And it's also had the Golden Hour Fleischdoir um, Golden Arrows put on as well. Not brilliant, but they are very good, especially when you've got to go around the track at a distance. You barely notice that the actual sticker's there. But then, again, shall I pr try and pronounce it? The <laughs> Trianon Bar? I don't know. That's the name of this coach, and it's the same bar that's on here, but it's a completely different transfer. As you can see, completely different sticker and in a different location it still managed to completely transform the Pullman. So it's something a little bit different. It, it, it means that the other Pullmans that we got for next to nothing with a, a set can suddenly, you know, you can have a real rake, even if I removed all of these. And I don't think it would mark the Pullman, to be honest, if I removed them. But I don't, I don't intend to. The only <laughs> typical railroad thing about it is the plastic wheels and we all know what I'll do with them they'll be getting removed but I'd be interested to know your thoughts and what you think of these uh, these little modifications that have took place on on these coaches because I really do think it's something different and it's very basic you don't need much skill set I don't think to do something like that and I've never thought about doing anything like that and um, very interestingly Inside the packets, inside the actual boxes, amazingly, are the proper water slide transfers still for the various car numbers. Um, if I can open this one up, I believe in this one, yeah, we've got the names for the transfers for Lucille. Agatha, Ursula and Sheila. So even if I did choose to remove all of those stick-on transfers, um, I've still got the water slide ones that were supplied with the packets and there's even another packet there that's never been opened. So I would call that a bargain, a bargain, even if I chose not to keep them like that, which I believe I am. This might be the only one that I choose to really do something with and I may get rid of this here, this one stick on there, because it, it really does stick out uh, similarly with that one. But within that, I've got a new Sentry Bar, a Hadrian Bar, a Trianon Bar? <laughs> We're two Trianon Bars, but slightly different. Could have them together in one long bar for a very big party, I don't know. But I thought I would share that with you today. Very cheap, and that was from the local model shop. Uh, in my case, that was uh, Durham Trains of Stanley. And as I've said before, Mick gets a lot of second-hand stock in all the time, and it's always worth popping in. I just popped in to see if he had something else I needed, and they were there. And I don't regret getting them, because they are... I think that was a steal for four Pullman coaches in general, even if they are the railroad models. But to uh, have them... I didn't even know they'd been modified until I got back home. So I had a very big surprise when I got back. Um, I did ask Mick afterwards if he knew, and he said yes, he did, but he had never chose not to say anything. But they, uh, I thought I'd share that with you. So if it gives you any ideas 
Um, if you can remember or know of the company that actually produces these, leave a comment, let me know, because um, I wouldn't mind having a look at the rest of the, the stuff they do and, and maybe feature that in something in a, in a future video. But uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed that. I won't put them on the track today. What I, uh, I think I've got a, a locomotive review um, coming up later on in the week. And what I might do is I might put them behind that locomotive, possibly with some of the other Pullmans. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you want to comment, please do comment. I would love to see your comments, especially if you do know who it is who produces these actual stick-on transfers. Um, if you enjoyed the video or you enjoyed the content, what it was about or the ideas, give me a thumbs up, please. Um, and if you want to see more video content, Please subscribe, press the bell, and uh, well, hopefully you'll see me again soon. Um, like I said, there should be another video coming up towards the end of the week um, with a locomotive. So, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.